So I've got a couple of people in a power struggle during the change process. Where do I go from there? What do you think? Well, ultimately I'm the boss, so I guess I can just lay down the law. Give it a shot. I don't really care who started it. The fact of the matter is it's going to end right now. We all have to work together whether we like it or not. But he still isn't following the new procedures. And apparently he still doesn't understand what a production schedule is. We are all professionals and grown-ups. Work it out. You're still not following the documented procedures. And apparently you still don't understand what a production schedule is. Okay, so that didn't work. What do you suggest? Diffusing conflict requires a three-stage strategy. It generally works like this. Start with communication. Get them talking about the problem. Encourage people to describe precisely what triggered the conflict and how they feel about it. So I see we have a problem here. We need to solve it. What's going on? I'm trying to explain to your man here that his procedures won't work with my production schedule. And I'm not going to throw my department into chaos just so that he can check off all his little boxes. And I'm trying to get this man to understand that we have procedures for a reason. And now that he's part of our company, he doesn't get to be a free agent anymore. And I'm trying to get him to understand that the whole point of your acquiring us was to benefit from our experience and expertise. Okay. So let me get this straight. Cliff, you're concerned that following the procedures is throwing off and slowing down your production schedule. And when Cliff doesn't follow the procedures, it creates problems for your reporting and compromises accuracy. Does that sum it up? Pretty much. That's the thumbnail, yeah. Good. Now we know the problem, we can figure out how to solve it. <laughs>